All morning long, we've been getting you prepped and ready for Valentine's Day. Just around the corner. I can't believe it. A couple of days away, and our Matt McCutcheon live in downtown Indy with a unique experience that you can share with someone special. Matt, you've met a new friend. I have. This is Tara. Good morning to you. Good morning, Tara. This is our horse who's going to take us on a ride here in downtown Indianapolis with Dave with Yellow Rose Carriages. Good morning to you. Morning. Let's talk about, first of all, Tara in the off season, if you will, which is pretty much right now except for Valentine's Week. Yeah. What does she do? She hangs out at home and eats pretty much with her <laughs> job when she's not working. Yeah, she's a former show horse. You can see if you pet her right here on the forehead, it kind of calms her. And I've learned that kind of keeping the head down like this is a very good sign. But let's take a look at the ride we're going to go on right here in downtown Indianapolis. The carriage itself right here, pretty expansive to say the least. We're going to hop in and take a ride, but real quick, we're going to show you some information when it comes to when you actually plan to book your Valentine's a treat for your honey. And we're finding that, uh, surprisingly, a lot of people enjoy doing that. It seems all the way after Valentine's Day. Check that out. 20-some percent do that instead. So that's an interesting statistic we learned from you on our WTHR Facebook page. Out here live the ride is underway. How far, or how fast, I should say, are we going right now? Uh, three or four miles an hour. So not too fast. And in this day and age of really wanting to get there yesterday, right, this is a very slow, casual pace. And you say people actually enjoy that. They do. It's a, it's a whole different view of the city at three miles an hour. <laughs> and, <laughs> to say and, the least. And people see things that they normally wouldn't see, uh, mm -hmm. the different sites of the city, and, and they really enjoy that part of it. You're normally closed this time of year, but you're open for Valentine's Day. Kind of explain that process for someone who may want to uh, go on a Valentine's Week ride, I should say. Well, you can book online at our website, IndyCarriage.com, mm -hmm. or you can call the office um, and, uh, and book a ride. We still have availability. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a great way to see the city and, and have a romantic evening. Okay. All right. Great information. Thank you so much for joining us here in our casual three-mile-per-hour stroll around downtown Indianapolis, Ben and Julia. While this is very nice, I have to say I picked, I think, the coldest day of the week so far to go on this. I think it's going to be 60 later this week, but still a very pleasant, casually calm experience here this morning. Well, and I know a lot of times they have blankets in there to keep you warm. Do you have a blanket this morning? <laughs> yes, we have a blanket, and the good news is I just found this out. Uh, for Tara, the horse, uh, the cold is actually just fine for her. It's the heat in the summer that's really the main concern. So it could be negative 10 out here, and we'd still be on a ride, but I don't know if I'd want to be out here for that. <laughs> yeah, that might, might be a little cold. Blankets Matt, thank you. Carriage.